I'm showing you how to transfer your Java Edition Texture Pack to Bedrock Edition. To get started, you just want to have your Java Edition Texture Pack and also make sure where it is. In this case, I'm using one of my own Texture Packs, ism64's Reduced Pumpkin Blur. As you can see right now, it is a Java Edition Texture Pack. Once you have that, you want to head over to convertmcpack.net, which is going to be linked down in the description below. What this website allows you to do is, made by me, by the way, um, is it allows you to really quickly convert your pack to and from any version, including Bedrock Edition. So you can start by selecting your current pack version, which in my case is 1.20.6. If you're not sure what it is, then that is all right. But just make sure that you know whether it, made, it was made for before or after 1.12.2. If you have that down, then you should in most cases be good anyways then do, i can also select my new pack version which in this case is going to be bedrock edition of course and then i can choose my file which i know was saved on my desktop there we go it's me 64 is reduced pumpkin blur once i have all of that set up i can click on convert right over here and i'm quickly going to be brought over to this ad page right here where i'm going to wait for five seconds while my pack converts and then I can click on skip right up there and as you can see the download automatically starts. Now for regular Java to Java edition conversions we would be done right now but as you can see we have a link here where we can click on some extra information for converting to and from bedrock edition. On this page you'll be met with a video which is probably going to be this one. Anyways here we have Java to bedrock which is exactly what we're doing. Basically the information displayed here explains that well, in short, when you're converting from Bedrock to Java or vice versa, there are items in Java Edition that aren't in Bedrock Edition and items in Bedrock Edition that aren't, aren't in Java Edition, um, as well as the fact that things work in different ways, meaning that some textures just aren't compatible. So here we have some categories right here. So as you can see, we can hover above each of these categories and they're going to give us a list of all of the textures we need to make if we want our texture back to be complete. So for many texture packs, that won't be necessary. For example, think of a texture pack that only textures swords, for example, um, or that only provides you with a lower shield or something like I'm doing, which just simply reduces the pumpkin blur. So you're porting over a random faithful texture pack from Java to Bedrock Edition. And it textured everything in Java Edition. In Bedrock, you're going to notice that some textures are missing. And these lists are just simply going to help you um, fill up all of those missing textures if you do wish to do so. Anyway, if, if you scroll down a little, you'll also notice some cool little statistics over here of what happens. And if you go down even further, you'll have the same thing, but instead from Bedrock to Java Edition, which of course it's also possible. For me in this case it won't be necessary at all because my texture pack just changes pumpkin blur. Anyways in your downloads you'll notice you have the updated pack and it's being renamed randomly this is just to avoid errors in my system I can rename it back to it's b64's reduced pumpkin blur. Now also really quickly about the website basically Porting texture packs from Java to Bedrock or vice versa previously was really, really tedious. Um, there is actually a way to do it manually as well if you don't want to use the website. I'll link that video down in the description below, but it's a 20 minute video and depending on the size of your texture pack, it could literally take hours. Anyways, you'll also notice that this is a pack file, which is great, and you should just be able to double click on that and it'll automatically import into Bedrock Edition. If that doesn't work, however, you can also right click on it, go to open with, and then select Minecraft. We can simply import it into Minecraft Bedrock Edition, just like so. And inside of Minecraft, we'll notice import started, and then eventually successfully imported, it's me 64s reduce pumpkin blur. What we can then do is go over to settings right here, global resources, my packs. Here you will find the pack, in this case, ASP64 is reduced pumpkin blur. I can click on activate right over there. And as you can see, it's now been activated. So here right now, inside of a random Minecraft world, I can open up my inventory and grab a pumpkin, put it on my head. And as you can see, we have a reduced pumpkin blur. Anyways, basically, it is um, that simple. 
if you do have any more questions or stuff like that, um, then of course do feel free to leave those down in the comments below. If you encounter any errors or stuff like that with the website, please also let me know either through my Discord server or just down in the comments. If you let me know about your issues, then I should be able to fix them pretty easily um, and that way basically everyone can profit from that. Anyways, for right now, thank you ever so much for watching and I do hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.